We are training for lower body definition with focus sets and a finisher's challenge round. You're only going to need your dumbbells plus optional today, your exercise box or your kitchen chair. So grab those and let's get strong. Leg day has begun and this is going to be a serious leg day. Now, before we get into our warm up, if you do have your exercise box or bench, chair, couch, anything with a little elevation, we are going to use those for elevated glute bridges, bridges, and also seated calf raises. Now, if you don't have that, I'm going to have a modification on screen for those to be done without any additional equipment. Weight we're going to focus on for our focused rounds will be, that was focused a lot, <laughs> will be moderately heavy to a heavier weight for that. When we hit the challenge round, you're probably going to want to slice that weight in about half of what you were using because we are going to be, we're going to have a 150 rep challenge. We're going to do 30 reps of one exercise from each of those focused rounds. So with that, we'll get into the warm up. I'll explain the structure throughout the warm up, and we got to get this workout started. So let's just start with quad pulls here. So holding it up for just a second, one side and then the other breathing starting to get that lower body warm. Now, today's structure, pretty simple. We are gonna have those five focused rounds. You'll see a trend for with the muscles that we're working in each of those rounds. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds between exercises, 30 seconds of rest in between rounds. Will we repeat the rounds two times through, but we'll finish the five rounds, then come back up to the top and start over. Then we'll have that 150 rep challenge right at the end to close everything out. Last one here. And then we're gonna go into a squat to good morning. So hands behind your head, prisoner squat, squat it down as you come up. Good morning. Good, and then down. Back flat, core engaged, drive those hips back. And down. Good. Let's do two more. Here's two. And last one. Then we'll go into leg swings. We'll focus on one side and then the other. Good. From here, leg swings. So take that leg out and swing it up, kick it up. Try to reach that hand if you can. Let's do three more and then we'll switch it over. Two and one. Switch it over. Other side. Three more, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go into a low sumo hold. Start opening up those hips, stretching out through the back. So legs out, toes out, dropping it down here, keeping your bum nice and low. Just kind of sliding from side to side here, feeling a nice stretch through the inner thighs, opening up through the hips. Good, from here, let's get a little twist in. Last stretch, and then we'll get into round number one. Dropping that shoulder. Good, last one here, and then we'll take it up nice and slow. Good, so bringing it up. All right, first round, we've got a squat. Then we're gonna go into stationary lunge on one side, stationary lunge on the other. If lunges bother your knees, you know I got you covered with modifications for that. You're gonna do a single arm, so weight in one side, staggered squat, but you'll see that modification on screen. So again, focus on that moderately heavy to heavy weight. Starting with our squat, 40 seconds of work throughout. Grab your weight and let's get ready. Getting right into it, five seconds. And here we go, 40 seconds for our squat. So keep some tension in your legs as you come up, meaning don't completely lock out your knees. Keep those knees soft. Keep those legs tight, squeeze the glutes. And back is staying flat for this. So don't let your back round, that low back. This round just really focusing on the quads, hams, and the glutes. Here we are, three, two, and one. 20 seconds, then we go into a stationary lunge. So again, you can start on whichever side you'd like. 
We've got 10 seconds and we go. I feel like Stella's hiding from leg day behind her pillow over there. I don't know how that happened. All right, stationary lunge in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, back is flat, no rounding. Shoulders relaxed and down. Whew. And again, keeping some tension in this forward leg, so don't completely lock out your knee. And if you're doing that modification, take that squat down as low as you can. Oh, push through the heel. Last three, two, one. Switch it up. Other side. All right, 10 seconds and we go. Starting with that good form already. So start with that good posture, hips tucked under. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now the only reason I like to tap my knee on the ground each time is to just make sure that I am staying consistent with my range of motion. So that's why you don't have to tap your knee. You don't even have to go down quite as low. Just depends on how, you, how your body allows you to do that today. I know every day is different. Some days the lunge is easier than others. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. We get 30 seconds to rest. We go into an, a, I was gonna say an RDL or that Romanian deadlift. So that's gonna be the first exercise. Then we're gonna do kickstand Romanian deadlift on one side, kickstand Romanian deadlift on the other. So adjust your weights if you need. So both legs first, starting out with that good posture. Now remember, back stays flat, drive those hips back, slight bend in the knee. Here we go. Take it nice and slow so you can keep that back flat. Don't let your upper body round. The work is coming through those hams and glutes. That's the main movers right there. So those are really working to pull you back up. It's not the round in your back trying to pull you up. So make sure, think about sticking the chest out, keep that weight close, and then pull. Good, breathing. Exhale as you pull up. And this is it. Three two, and one, good. All right, so for this Rom uh, kickstand Romanian deadlift, one or two dumbbells for this one, whichever you wanna do. I am gonna use one in the opposite hand of my working leg. Here we go in three, two, and one. Now with kickstand, we don't lose that form. We still hinge at the hip, keep the back flat. Good posture, chest is up. Breathing, weight stays close. Slight bend in this working leg. And that kickstand means that back leg has just a little bit of weight on it. We want all of our focus in that forward leg. So it's a kickstand. It's just there for a little bit of balance. That's all we wanna use that for. We're gonna switch it over to the other side next. In three, two, and one. Oh, nice job. Let's switch it over, other side. 15 seconds. We're going heavy today, so make sure you give your hands a break in between, give some wrist circles here and there to kind of let those hands get a break. Because when we're lifting heavy, you can kind of crunch up your hands. All right, good form, 40 on, here we go. Good. Nice and slow, drive those hips back, back flat. Squeeze, pull up. Halfway. This is that last one. 
here it is. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're switching it up. Sumo squat and then lateral lunge. So this still focused on that lower body, but we're gonna be a little bit more involved with the thighs this time. So moderately heavy. With that lateral lunge, you might, got, you might need to bring the weight down a little bit. Sumo squat. You have the option to do one in the center or two on each side. We're getting ready here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Push that floor away. Now with this heavy weight, if you've got it in the center, make sure it's not rounding your short, uh, shoulders forward. Keep that chest up and open. So drop that bum straight down and push. Ooh. Last three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, now you can use one or two dumbbells for this lateral lunge. I'm gonna go ahead and use one and hold on to the ends of each. We're gonna work one side and then we'll switch it over. Modification, lateral leg lift. So that's what you're doing. If those lunges bother your knees, here we go. Drop it down, back flat, and then push up. Good, almost there. Couple more reps. We're under 10. This is three, two, and one. Other side. Breathing. Leg day. Not easy, but not meant to be easy. All right. Bring it up or that lateral leg lift on the other side in three, two, and one. Here we go. Make sure you're dropping that bum down and then pushing up there. Good. Here it is, three, two, and one. 30 seconds to rest. This is where, if you've got your box, pull that on out. We are gonna do that elevated glute bridge. We're gonna do an elevated glute bridge, then single leg on each side. Grabbing our weight, bringing it down. We've got 10 seconds, so we're moving quick now. All right, weight stays in the heels for this. Going here in about three, in two, and let's bridge. Here we go. Lift, squeeze. Now this elevation gives us a deeper range of motion. So you're really gonna feel the glutes and the hams work on this one. One thing to keep in mind. Now, you do wanna work on driving those hips up, squeezing the glutes, but not rounding the back. So make sure that even as you come down, that back comes flat and then push up, squeeze. Good, there it is. We got it. Last three, two, and one. Woo. All right, I am dropping one weight. I'm only gonna use one weight for this one. Single leg. Now you have the option to kind of keep it out as a kickstand or you can cross it up over, whichever you're comfortable with, or keep it straight up in the air. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. 40 seconds, squeeze, hold it, and down. Exhale as you push up, same thing here. Keep that back flat, 
as you press up and then down. Oh, this side is really getting it. Oh my goodness. Almost there, here it is, three, two, and one. 20 seconds to rest, we're gonna switch it over, same thing, other side. Breathing, let's get ready, back into position. Okay, three seconds out, here's two, and let's go, lift it, squeeze it, and down. So get that hold at the top just for a second. Wow, oh my goodness, well over halfway. Keep it up. Here we are, three, two, and one. All right, if you've got your box, keep it for this first exercise. So I told you each round kind of has its own focus. That was really our glute focus. We are switching it up now to calves. So we're gonna do a seated calf raise. For this one, I like to have a dumbbell on each side right above my knee. You can use one dumbbell, put that bell on each side, whichever you're comfortable with. But sitting towards the edge of your box, legs out at about 90 degrees. We're gonna lift up on the toes and lower. Here we go. So you can see that modification. You are just standing to do this. And if you find the standing calf raise is kind of throwing you off balance a bit, feel free to find a wall and do it without weight. Just start to build up those muscles as you do that. Then eventually over time with consistency, you will be able to do it without the wall, holding onto your weights. But the thing here, hold it up at the top, squeeze, and then control it down. So nice and slow reps here. Not trying to rush through because that contraction comes at the top. So we wanna hold it, let those muscles get a chance to do what they need to do, and then down. Last three, two, and one, good. Oh, all right, we're gonna switch it out now. Toes turned out, calf raise. We'll do this one standing, actually. So box can move, toes out, and let's lift. Now you can always do this one seated as well, but lift it and hold it, and down. Good posture here, so shoulders roll down and back. And I always remind you about posture in here because I want you to think about your posture out in everyday life too. So whether you're sitting at the computer, whether you're sitting at the dinner table, whether you're just walking you know, through your house, think about your posture. So that's keeping that core engaged, tucking the hips under, shoulders rolled down and back. Just because that will, that man, good posture. It's, it's hard. Two and one, but if you think about it, That'll help you activate it even more. Whew. All right, we are going into a glute bridge calf raise. Now, you probably won't need any weight on this because we're gonna do an iso glute bridge hold. And then as that we're in that hold, we're gonna do the calf raise. So let's bring it down, getting into glute bridge position. We're gonna be up on those toes, lift the hips, and we lift, squeeze up and down. So hips stay up. The only thing that's moving are those heels off the ground. And if you find your, it's, it's hard for you to get your heels up, walk your feet in a little bit closer. So you'll bring those heels closer to your bum. Lift and squeeze. Good. Let's hold it up. Let's do one more for three, two, and one. Oh, bring it down. Nice, give it a little hug. And then we are gonna repeat those five rounds once more through before we hit our challenge round. So let's go ahead and bring it up. We're gonna go back to that squat and then the stationary lunge or that modification of that staggered squat. Where are we at? 
Let's uh, grab our weights for squat. We're going right back, right back to work. So go in here in three, two, and one. Let's squat it out. Down and squeeze. Remember, soft knees, weight is in the heels, back is flat. Almost there. Last one. Three, two, one. Ooh, stationary lunge or that modification of the single arm or single weight staggered squat. Five seconds and we go. And get into position. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Shoulders rolled down and back. I don't know, the dogs always seem to get fired up during leg day. <laughs> what this? I don't know if they can just feel the, the fire in the room. <sighs> Almost there. We're gonna switch sides next, then round one. We'll be done. The last three. Two, one, good. All right, switching sides. So other side, just about 10 seconds out. So getting back into position. Start off, shoulders rolled down and back. Hips tucked under. Here's three, two, and one. Really feeling the calves right now. I don't know about you. <sighs> so just take note of the first exercise in each of these rounds here as we go, because that is going to be our 150 reps challenge, 30 reps of each of those. Again, dropping the weight big time for that round. So that's what you get to look forward to. Last three. Two and one. All right, Romanian deadlift. Back to that. And then right into those kickstands. All right, shoulders rolled down and back. Slight bend in the knees. Hinging at the hips. Five seconds. All right, here we go in three. Two and one. Oof. Exhale and squeeze up. Good, this is halfway. Almost there. Let's make this the last one. Last three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, kickstand. So remember, you've got the option of two dumbbells or one dumbbell. 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Kickstand just there for balance. Work on this forward leg. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Ooh. Keep that knee soft, don't lock it out. Over halfway. Soft with that back leg. Here it is, three. Two, and one, good. Remember, again, when we're lifting heavy, 
Might gotta let, might need to let those hands have a little bit of a break. Other leg forward, shoulders rolled back, and let's go. Weight stays in the heel here. Good, halfway. All right, last one. Here it is. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds. We're moving back into our sumo squat and our lateral lunge, or if you're doing that modification, the lateral leg lift. Again, still working the lower body, but the focus kind of switch a little bit, switches a little bit to those thighs on this one. So grabbing that weight, eight seconds. Legs out, toes out, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat, squeeze. Squat, get that squeeze. So when you get that squeeze, think about bringing those inner thighs together, zippering them together to activate a little bit deeper into your inner thigh muscles. Ten seconds out. Good, here it is. Three, two, and one. Woo. Lateral lunge or lateral lift. Ten seconds. So one side and then the other. Five seconds. Elbows tucked in. Three, two. And one, here we go. Drop that bum and push. Halfway. Last time for this exercise. Good, this is three, two, and one. Switching it over, 20 seconds in we go. All right, 10 out. Getting back into position. All right, three, two, and one, here we go. Halfway. Keep this last half just as strong as the first. Here it is. Three, two, and one. All right, going into that elevated glute bridge. Make it a little barrier here with my dumbbells to keep my box in place. All right, so elevated glute bridge or that modification on the ground without your box. And then we'll do the single leg. So bringing it down eight seconds. So we're moving, heels up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift and squeeze and down. Drive those hips up, not overarching the back though. Get that hold at the top. 
So really take advantage of this extra range of motion that you have with your box here and hold it. Last three, two, and one. Single leg now. Again, you have the option to do it more of a kickstand or with one leg up or crossed over. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift, squeeze, and lower. Over halfway, a few more reps. Keep it strong, because remember, this is the last time through these second and third exercises. Let's hold it up. Three, two, and one. Bring it down. Other side. Last time here. So leg up, leg kickstand, or leg crossed over. And finishing up. And we'll go in about five seconds. Good, here's three, two, and lift. Whew. Don't forget to exhale as you push up and remember, get that hold at the top just for a second before letting it down. Let's hold it for this last little bit. Hold it up. Now we'll count three, two, and one. Whew. Weights out for now anyways, until we can get up. We're gonna go into our seated calf raise. Optional again, standing. You'll see that modification on screen. All right, 10 seconds out. I can feel that my hair is just like out of control right now. <laughs> All right, calf raise in three. Here's two and one. Let's lift, squeeze, and down. So really hold it at the top. Feel it and then let it down. Good, 20 seconds left, halfway. <sighs> 10, oh, we're almost there. Good, this is three, two, and one. Going into standing toes out, calf raise now. Box is out of the way. We will use the box again for that final round, that challenge round. But for now, out, toes out. Three seconds, two, and one. Lift and squeeze. Ooh. Remember, hold it at the top for a second. Halfway. All right, last rep, hold it up for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, final calf exercise, that iso glute bridge hold with our calf raise, no weights on this one. And the reason being is because it wouldn't necessarily affect the calves with the, with the weight. So I'd rather you focus on holding that up than any extra weight. So remember, walk the heels in a little bit closer to your bum for that extra range. And here we go. So hips up and lift and down.
Good, halfway. We'll get a nice minute to rest in between this last exercise and our challenge round. So I'm gonna give you all the details on that challenge round coming up. Don't skip the challenge round. I'm telling you, you are gonna be so proud of yourself when you get through that challenge round. Last three, two, and one. Whew. It may not be anything you've ever done before, but this is where we really start to lean out those legs, taking those muscles to failure like this to help build that definition back up. So enjoy the rest. We've got about 40 seconds left. So for this round, we are going to do that first exercise that we did in each round. So that'll be the squat, the Romanian deadlift, the sumo squat, the feet elevated glute bridge, and then the seated calf raise. 40 reps of each. You can count your own reps if you'd like to do that. I'm also gonna be counting the reps. I can't promise my counting is gonna be on, <laughs> but I will try my best. So again, you can follow me, follow my pace, or count your own 40. But this weight, we're dropping. So drop the weight a little bit lighter on this, even half to what you were lifting with. So let's bring it up for squat. Again, going lighter. So, whoa, we gotta grab it. All right, 40, 40 squats. Here we go. Down and squeeze. Now, if you need to take a break in between, if you need to adjust your weight at all, either the heavy or, or lighter, go for that. Keeping that good form though, full range. This is 10, we've got 30 left. <sighs> You can even start to do things body weight if you need. Whew. Here it is, halfway, 20 in, 20 more. No, we're doing 30, I said 40. We did upper body, we did 40. So 10 more, wow. <laughs> that was a happy accident. Bob Ross would be so proud of us fixing our little tree. <laughs> Forgive me, 30. I'm glad I caught it before we did the 40, right? Oh my goodness. Here's three more. Two, good, and one, 30. Romanian deadlifts now. Adjust your weight if you need. No specific rest time necessarily. We're just gonna go right into it. So let's go in about eight, five. Here's three, two, and one. 30 RDLs. Good, five. Keep that form. Ten here. Almost halfway. This is 15, 15 more. You got it. Oh, I know the hamstrings are burning. Here's 10 reps. This is 10. RDLs take a while to get through. Nine. Here's five, five, four, three. Sumo squat is next. Two more, two, and 
last one. All right, shake it out. We'll go in about 10 seconds. All right, so one or two dumbbells. I'm actually gonna switch it up for this round and do two right on each side. Let's go in three, two, and one. 30 sumos, here we go. These will go a little bit quicker than the Romanian deadlift. Here's nine and 10. This one's halfway, this is 15 right here, 15. Think about those inner thighs, squeeze them together. 19. 20, countdown is on. This is 25, 26, 28, 29, and whew, 30, all right, 30 elevated glute bridges or on the ground, that modification with your feet for a regular glute bridge. But getting that box, getting ready. This one we get a little longer break because we have a setup. All right, so glute bridge, calf raise, we have made it. We will have completed our 150 reps. Let's go in three, in two, and one. Here we go, lift and squeeze down. So again, this one might take a little bit longer because we got to get that hold at the top. <sighs> Completing this is gonna prove to you, you can, can complete whatever difficult task you have in front of you today or the next day. So push with me here, we are close. Here's 10. Ooh. I gotta drop one weight. We're going down to just one dumbbell. Again, if you need to do body weight, go for that. Halfway, right here, 15. Ooh. Yep, body weight it is. Oh, wow. So there is some lactic acid building up right now in these legs. So that is where that burn is coming from. A stretch is going to be much needed after this one. We've got 10. Nine. Woo. This is seven. All right, last five. And here comes that three, two, one. This is three. Two, make sure you get that hold, hold it. And last one, up, squeeze. Good, let's bring it down. All right, seated or standing calf raise to finish. This is it. Okay, with or without dumbbells for this one too. All right, here we go. Right on the edge, 30, let's do it. Lift and squeeze, hold it. Five. Here's six. Oh, 
this one, 10. So if you haven't done the upper body workout that goes along with this one, our other challenge workout, you gotta do it, you gotta even it out. Get the challenge on the upper and the lower. Oh, halfway right here. Oh my. All right, we can do it. 10 more. Almost there. Five more. Good, this is four. Here's three. Two, here it is, hold it. And last one, hold it for three, two, and one. Amazing job, oh my word, you are the bomb. I told you, that is an accomplishment to get through that challenge round and you absolutely killed it. Way to go, I hope that you can walk tomorrow. If you wanna add a little bit more uh, pizzazz to your day, Check out this ab workout to pair with our lower body training today. I just love that combo, abs, lower body. Don't forget to get a stretch after that though because that lactic acid was for real today. You are the bomb. I love getting strong with you. Thanks for being here and I will see you over at that abs workout.